Hey guys, it's the MTG Noob here, and I'm here with... Slybot again. And uh, we are doing the third episode of the For the Noob series, and in this episode we will be talking about the store and the trade section. So Slybot, the store is kind of like a store in real life, where you would go, give them money, and in exchange for money, you get the product. So you can purchase packs, starter decks, things like that, but most importantly, you can get your tickets here. One thing to note on Online, uh, to get you familiar with the lingo is money equals ticks or tickets okay, and we have uh, each ticket is worth one dollar give or take okay so what else do we have in the store I bet when you get to the store this is probably going to be the first place you need to stop on the side there's a filtering you can filter by event tickets see the storefront for what they're wanting to showcase booster packs steam decks there's a redemption section where if you collect one of each cards and they'll send you physical copies and then you can also filter it by set or expansion yeah it's really important to just go into the store like a kid in a candy store and just look around but just make sure you understand that none of the stuff in the store is free we'll show you how to get things for a bit cheaper in a later episode and then over here on the right there's the payment section uh, credit cards are accepted there's a PayPal a uh, beta only feature that was recently added to the store is the ability to enter promo codes. Wizards hasn't really given much information about how they're going to use this feature yet, but it should be pretty interesting. And that's about it. Probably spend more time here buying tickets. Yeah, you would think once you get more seasoned, you're probably not going to end up in the store very often. Usually you can sell some of your singles to get tickets or some of your booster packs. You can also buy things with your tickets from bots. So you can buy booster packs and singles, which we'll talk about a little bit more in the future um, and when we go more in depth in the trading. But why don't you tell us a little bit about trading now? All right, so the bots he's talking about, you'll find them in the trading area. In the trading area, there's a list of classifieds and the bots will use this. And so you can go and automatically trade into these. These are just little programs. You can look at their wares, see what they have. They'll have a price. It's usually in tickets. And then down here on the bottom, there's there's an area where you can enter your own classified where you can post cards you want to sell or cards you want to buy and people can view those. One new feature of the beta which is nice is on the left here you can see previous people you've traded with so all the bots you've previously traded with will be in a list that's pretty handy for you. They have shortcuts here for all your buddies and also your clan. So that's kind of a nice new feature of the beta. Yeah, that definitely was not featured in the last client. So uh, I think more and more after doing these videos, I can't wait to upgrade to the beta myself. And then underneath the filter, there's an area where you can select which trade binder you have active. This is a new feature of the beta which uh, we'll discuss more about trade binders in a later episode. So the point of this episode was more or less just to check out the store, get yourself familiarized with it. You know, if you see something you like, you buy it. But we're really encouraging you to check out the trades and you know see the prices of things and don't get too shocked because a lot of times you'll look at prices online and just say wait what my Aurelia in real life is worth $25 why is it only worth $5 here I know one of the cards that I first saw was Snapcaster and I was like oh I opened a Snapcaster it's gonna be worth 25 ticks this is great and then it was like six ticks or five ticks so you know we don't want you to get a culture shock but as you're slowly getting into the experience more or less just be aware of the store but keep your mind on the trades and and that is how you're going to start really doing business of uh you know buying and selling cards but this has been the mtg noob and cybot any last words? Um, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, next time we're going to go over the account area where you can set up your settings and your stops, which is very important before you start playing. That's going to be very helpful as you want to pimp out your uh, Moto experience as much as possible. So in episode four, we'll be going over the stops and settings. And we'd like to thank you for watching. And please check out the mtgnoob.com. See you guys.